Hello, family, and thank you for coming to my channel, Delp Schnell's What It's World, where you must see this video I'm bringing out. That's right. Got it from none other than Atlanta Black Star, and uh, the person who wrote the article was none other than my favorite columnist, correspondent, Kirsten Willis, okay? Her title of her article is based on Kenya Moore today, and a little... Uh, somewhat shade that some of her fans or followers or viewers of her content um, kind of she had a blowback, I guess you would call it, or um, what you call it, a slap in the face in a sense, where they wanted to see her daughter. They didn't really want to see her too much or the animals. They wanted to see her daughter. Now, what is the obsession? Well, let's get on into this short video and we can see if we can come up with any conclusions, okay? But the title of Kirsten Willis over at Atlanta Black Star, uh, title of her article was called, We Want to See Brooklyn. Kenya Moore fans dislike her focusing the video on the zoo, They or the zoo animals. They rather see uh, her daughter, okay? Now, to me, that's a major problem, but hey, I've said it all along. I didn't care for Kenya putting her baby girl out there on Front Street every single day you turn around, every other day. It ain't, it, it's, it's not warranted is what I'm saying, but let's get on into the article because I don't want to tear it too long, okay? It's saying, staying firm on her remarks and her divorce announcement, Kenya Moore has been focusing her time on daughter Brooklyn. Doris Daly, and they spent a night enjoying the Georgia National National Fair this past weekend at the Brooklyn Daily. Love the animals at the state fair. Hashtag 11 months. Read the caption of a video Moore shared on October 7th in which she told her daughter to look at the zebra in front of them in rural Perry, Georgia. Okay. Brooklyn looked on, but it seemed by the tone of the Real Housewives of Atlanta star's mom's voice, Moore was more interested in the African uh, equid, I think it's a zebra, uh, than her little one, okay? Brooklyn is too young to even really care about that big-ass animal. And she probably was smelling the odor and it's like, why has my mama got me in this type of environment? They stink. Why am I here? That's my voice for Brooklyn, okay? But anyway, um, it says fans also took notice of the baby's disinterest in the wild animal, which was separated from Brooklyn and more by a cage barrier. Brooklyn like, F that damn zebra. <laughs> that was a commenter. I'm not sure if she's, uh, well, I'm not sure if she's fond of them zebras. Uh, she isn't even looking at them. That's one of the comment commentators had said, or, you know, fan of Kenya Moore's. Uh, on her Instagram page, and it says Moore's followers were also not interested in the zebra, which the reality star focused on the most in the video. They wanted to see more of the 11 month old baby girl and not no damn zebra. Okay, another commenter said at the Kenya Moore, less of the zebra, more of Bricky. Okay, Ken, we want to see Brooklyn, not the zebra. Moore has been soaking up time with Brooklyn as she and her exchanged husband, Mark Daly, navigate their impending divorce. The two announced their split in separate statements on September 9th, just days after they made their TV debut as a family with their daughter. Okay, we don't want to go over it. It's just, uh, uh, we call it, regurgitated uh, we call it commentary that they already done brought out in a sense. We don't want to hear all that. Okay. Then it goes into saying the week since their divorce relevant <coughs> revelation, Moore has been traveling with Brooklyn too. Before they traveled south of Atlanta for the fair, Moore and her daughter flew to Santori, Santori, Santorini, Greece, and enjoyed the beach and the sights, which later included the Acropolis of Athens. All right, Brooklyn. Daily living her best life. Hashtag baby. Hashtag Greece. Uh, hashtag baby Brooklyn. More caption a photo of her baby in front of the ancient site. Okay. And that's pretty much it of that article. But see, I can see or sense Kenya's frustration. Okay. She done show on the world her baby girl. And it's kind of probably getting tiring to her too. Okay. She wants you all to fascinate more on her now. But see, she don't put the elephant out there and she can't bring the elephant back. And that's the uh, whole 
uh, obsession of her spreading to the whole world, Miss Brooklyn out there. And hell, Brooklyn probably grow up and don't like none of the scene and ain't going to want her mama to film her or put her on Front Street anymore. Because Lord knows she don't been on Front Street since she was born. Out the womb, can you have Everybody saying baby Brooklyn, baby Brooklyn here, baby Brooklyn there. Look at baby Brooklyn, turn it over. You know, all these amazing feats that normal babies go through. But Kenya, you know, on her platform, she even made her daughter a platform for other people to go, you know, see. But see, the strange part in this whole ordeal for me is why are your fans so concerned about Brooklyn on a daily basis. What have you done to yourself and the monster that you are creating for this element of people wanting to see? Like they're so obsessed with baby Brooklyn. And to me, that's not a good thing to be um, continually feeding to your fans or your viewers or however. It's time that you draw it back, Kenya, and only show her at each year of her life, okay? Because I'm sure... Mark can probably use all of this, you know, because he's probably seeing and looking and, and, and just even contemplating with his lawyers. Look what we can do. You see the fans on turned on Kenya. They don't want to see her. They don't want to see no damn zoo animals. They want to see Brooklyn. And do they really have a right to see Brooklyn? I don't know. Because see, y'all say I'm old school. I'm old fashioned. This is the new way of showing your children on, you know, uh, photographs through social media. And, I, you know, that's not true. That may be some people's opinion. They may get down with it. They may be younger than me. But that still is a whole link of an avenue you can be tra an avenue you can be traveling down that can start going for the negative. OK, so now you, you got this little thing where you took your daughter to see the zoo animals and you're you know all engulfed in seeing them and wanting her to have a little bit more interaction with them so you can get some facial expressions or just see you know what she feels about them but you're filming everything you're not really living your life with your daughter you're putting everything on front street for you to partake of as well as the world i mean kenya where's your boundaries when are you going to set boundaries between what you show us as people looking into your life and what is kept just for you and your daughter and your family. You know, I'm on Mark's side with that. I mean, you can't show your life to everybody because then people think they have to have that part of their life because you don't gave it to them. You don't fed them so long to where they don't want to go on a diet no more. They want to have more and more and more and more and more of baby Brooklyn. And to me, that's a weird thing going on with them coming on your social media page telling you they don't want to see no damn animals. They want to see Bricky. <laughs> I'm like, girl, you need to fix it, Kenya. You need to fix it, baby girl. But that's all I have for this video. Y'all get into your comments. Tell me what y'all thought about the subject matter of what was being told. And I'm pretty sure she still has her social media feed up. And it's on every vlog site that's out there. Like I said, I got mine from Atlanta Black Star. And I was like, mm-hmm, I told these people. I told these people I talk to every day. This is going to be bad for Kenya going down the road. But that was just my opinion. So I ain't going to say for, for wishing is a bitch, but look what's coming full circle. Okay. But anyway, like I said, y'all comment. Y'all make sure y'all get down in them polls. Y'all take those posts because y'all are speaking for what y'all feel about certain things I put out on my videos uh, for commentary and just, just everyday type of questions that may pop in your head. Uh, uh, speak your mind. Give your voice. Let your voice be heard, okay? But peace and blessings to you all, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.